Hello everyone. Welcome back. Uh, it's Sunday. It's July. It's September. July. It's September 4. It's my birthday today. I thought I'd tell you that at the beginning. Um, also, I have written some an article about one of the topics I'm going to talk about today. I'm going to talk about two topics. Um, one is having to work when you having to quit work when you're diagnosed with DID or actually not diagnosed, but when you have problems because of DID and the other is about body memories. Okay. Um, I myself, now this is not for everyone, but when I was diagnosed, uh, it was, in two, it was uh, 1990. Then I had a really good job. I was working for a insur major insurance company as a claims examiner, making pretty good money. Well, I got so sick with from the, not necessarily from the DID, but from the side effects of the DID, the depression, the anxiety, the uh, suicidal thoughts and attempts that I had to quit work. Um, they told me, actually, I missed so much work at that point that uh, if I had to quit, they'd uh, fire me. So I went on long-term long leave from the uh, uh, place I was working for. And I had just, I had a hard time dealing with it because I loved my job. It was a good job. I was making good money. Um, and I was disappointed in myself and I was very down on myself. I didn't want to be on, on disability. I still to this day regret having to quit that job. I know it was necessary, but it, uh, um, it still hits my heart hard to think I had to quit. I feel like a, like a loser in some way in that way. I come to accept the fact that I am not able to work, but not in that way, for capacity anyway. At home, I can work from home. Um, but anyway, uh, the other topic is body memories. Uh, body memories are painful, and they're real. Um, you may have a pain in your groin or a pain in your head. Even headaches can be a sign of a, of a trauma. Um, and the switching headaches are bad. Um, but body memories are just very disruptive to your life. Um, it's hard to deal with things when you're hurting all the time. Um, sometimes people with DID from uh, fibromyalgia, which I have, actually a, a good deal of us do. It's kind of strange, but it makes sense in a way because, you know, our bodies have been through so much. But um, anyway, body memories are, in my experience, very hard to live with. Um, and they come out of nowhere. They come out of nowhere coming come to you at, at school, church, work, wherever you are. It just, bam, uh, something triggers one. A flash, it's a form of flashback. Something triggers it and you're on your way to hurt, pain, you know. I've written more exclusively, more extensively about this in an article I wrote for my blog, learnaboutdid.com. I'll put the link in the, in the comments below. So everybody like and and uh, and follow me. I would, I would really appreciate that. And leave me a comment, especially if you have an idea for a blog post or a post on this channel that I could use. Okay. I know this is a short and short and sweet, but I wanted to bring up these two topics today. And I'll have a good birthday, and uh, thank you. I'll talk with you later. Bye.